before I was filming this, it was on the site, which means it was a hot seller they ran out, but I have these really awesome, cool attachments for your Vitamix that you can get conveniently through Costco or any other outlet, and I'll have some links down below you can utilize today if you want to get them because today we're going to be unboxing the grain in the dry blender and i'm going to be making some really cool npk and for most of the people that do not know what npk is it's fertilizer and i'm doing it for my grandma figured i'd help her out and she loves gardening and i figured why not it was a good thing to making this thing good to use now you can see that this directly is not as big as compared to its brother companion in that situation. So, but it is a nice fit. And exactly, I feel like if you're making grain or other kind of situations where you need to blend dries, um, you know, like this is actually going to be a very useful tool. I never really found it to be really useful inside when I was making smoothies. But like this puppy has been cleanly washed. If you watch my vitamin, um, Vitamix unwatch um, and unbox. I did a really cool like smoothie in the process, which I just finished doing. In fact, I still have the smoothie here. It's that fresh. Now, in order to achieve NPK, which is your basic fertilizer, which you have nitrates, you have potassium, and you have a lovely portion of the phosphorus. So you can all achieve those with either eggshells that you've not like thrown out into your compost pile. You can get that from bananas. And you can get that from tea leaves. So old tea bags that you have that you've already taken the tea off, they're already soaked. All you have to do is just let it dry out in the sun. Just let it sun dry. So it's like basically like completely like leatherish kind of like situation. So let's toss it in and see what happens. So with everything loaded inside of here, I'm gonna click it on. First thing, it's gonna be a little loud, but not too horrible loud. Oh man, that's actually really cool. I'm definitely digging this. Let's turn up the speed. See how well it does. See if I have to use the actual tool attachment real fast. Grandma's gonna love this. Homemade soil. But MPK is usually just like a fertilizer that you want to put around it. It's not something you can't put. Hey, if you found your perfect soil mix, like coffee and all the other stuff, you can probably mix everything up together. All right, let me go ahead and grind this up and see exactly what comes up. Okay, that was actually pleasant. I it got this thing down to a nice powder, so that's going to be perfect. She can just put that inside the really nice soil. Um, now, one of the cool things that I did notice on top of the situation is that you will have to run it a little bit higher and then kind of let it sit, settle. You can utilize that in order to break it off in the function. It's very versatile in the situation for as far as making something really granulated really fast. That was really awesome to watch happen. Like, over probably roughly about like a minute or so with just fiddling with the controls and letting it kind of sink and rise. But again, you could probably master utilizing the situation of compacting it really easy but i found it to be just keep it safe honestly and read your manual before doing so so thank you very much for understanding this really cool attachment for, with me along this and this journey for some nice natural soil so i'll see you guys and gals in the near future and if you're not already new to the network and you're a community member cheers but if you are new to the network you can always subscribe it's absolutely free helps me out as a creator and if you do today who knows Maybe by utilizing this nice little trick that I have here, your plants will grow up to be awesome too. So I'll see you guys and girls in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you all there.